So first of all, what you can do is you can just right click on your Windows icon. So just right click on your Windows icon and then click on settings here. Okay. So right click on your Windows icon and then click on settings and then click on accounts section here. Okay. So once you click on account section, you will be able to see all these options. You need to click on this option which says family and other users. Okay, so I'm going to just click on this option. Now here you can add a family member or you can add other user. Okay, so in this case, we want to add the other user. Now before adding the other user, let me show you how you can reach the same point using the different method. So if you uh, somehow don't see uh, this settings option, when you right click on your Windows icon, this is that right click and not the left click, right? Then you just need to click on the search bar here. And here you just need to click on these three dots and then you just need to click on search settings. So just click on search settings. And once you click on search settings, again, you will be able to see uh, this kind of section where you can just click on accounts. Okay. So once you click on account, as I said, just click on family and other users. And then if you want to add a family member, click on this option. And if you want to add other user, click on this option. So I'm going to add other user. So I'm going to click on add account, which is going to open this kind of uh, interface, right? Now this window is saying that we need to use the Microsoft account in order to create a new user account. But I don't want to use my Microsoft account in order to create a new user account. So I'm going to click on this link, which says I don't have this person's sign in information, which is going to open the next window. And then what you can do, you can click on this option, which says add a user without a Microsoft account. Okay, so I'm going to just click on the last option. And here, I'm going to just add the new user information. Now before adding a new user information, let me show you how many users right now I have on my Windows operating system. So when you click on the Windows icon, you will be able to see the usernames here. So the list of usernames will appear here at the bottom. So right now I only have one user, so I can see only one user which is CB. This I can also verify by just going to the search bar and then uh, search for control panel. And once the control panel opens, just click on uh, change account type. And here I can see the list of all the users which this Windows 11 PC have. Right now I only have one user, right? So now I'm going to create a new user. So as I said, here you just need to give the new username in this window. So I'm going to just say user2 and then you just need to give his password. So I'm going to uh, provide a very simple password here and then uh, retype the password. And then in case uh, you forget the password, you just need to answer security questions. So you can choose anything. I'm going to just uh, add random values here you can uh, just uh, answer these questions uh, accordingly and then just click on next here and you can see this user has been added now in order to uh, just uh, sign in with the new user credentials what you need to do you just need to click on the windows icon and now you can see you have this user 2 option here okay so you will see the list of all the users here. So in order to sign in with the new user account, you can either click on user2 or click on sign out and then log in with the user2 account. So let me click on the sign out option.
So let me click on the sign out option here, which is going to sign me out. And once I'm signed out or logged out of my account, I can see two user accounts here, right? So this is the user account which I have created recently. So I can just log in with this user credentials by just clicking on this user. And once I have given my password for the user two, I will just click on submit, which is going to log me in with the new user account. Now at this point, it will take some time to create a new user account. You can see it's saying getting things ready for you and it's going to take few minutes. So just wait for some time. And now at this point, it says let Microsoft and the app use the location. I don't want to use the location. So I will just click on no and then accept. You can see this option, send diagnostic data to Microsoft, include optional, requested only. So I'm going to just click on this one and then click on accept. And then I will click on no and then click on accept. And then I don't want to uh, send anything. So no, accept, no, accept. And now I'm logged in with my new user account. So now, as you can see here, I have this user which I have created and I'm logged in with this user account, right? So in order to once again log in with CB, I can just click on this, which is going to log me out. And then I can just once again log in with my main account. So this is how you can create a new user account on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.